As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. So like with all of the V-drills so far, my starting position is at the T or the center line of the baseline. Only this time, the markers that I'm going to run to are behind me. Specifically, I've placed them 2.5 meters behind the baseline and then 2.5 meters both left and right of the center line of the baseline, the T. If you don't have a meter rule or a measure, you can quite simply take four steps back and then four steps to the left and four steps back and four steps to the right. Because the change of direction patterns here are much sharper, we're not gonna be having any sort of fancy footwork drills such as the crossover or a shuffle. Instead, what we're gonna be doing is backpedaling and running forwards, but we will have to make some adjustment steps to move around the cones themselves. As with all of the V drills, as I've said, we're gonna start at the center line of the baseline or the T. From here, we're gonna backpedal to the left, adjustment steps, and then back to the center line. Again, this time we're gonna move over to the right hand side. So we're gonna back pedal around adjustment steps back to the T. We're gonna perform as many of those repetitions as possible in the allotted time frame. And one repetition is counted for going around the cone to the left. And one repetition is counted for going around the cone to the right. 